Hello, this is Jonathan, and something happened this week which has caused me to reflect on some of my childhood memories. And it has to do with this right here. So, let's get going. My name is Jonathan, and I'm a caregiver for my wife, Lynn, who has a permanent brain injury. Things are different now, but we're doing the best that we can. Join us as we experience the Lynn life. What happened this week caused me to reflect on the year 1969. 1969 was the year that the New York Mets won the World Series. And I was living on Long Island. My father was working in Manhattan. And the suburbs in which I lived were uh, infused with Mets fans. The Mets had not been uh, uh, very good. They pretty much stunk. Uh, usually ended up in last place. They were a uh, expansion team at that time. But in 1969 that all changed. And there was one player in particular which was a real hero of mine and uh, he just passed away uh, this week none, none other than uh, Tom Seaver and I decided that uh, this video this week had to be dedicated to him and some of my childhood memories um, as you know that uh, this video we don't plan things out very much uh, whatever uh, happens that week becomes the video and this is what's happened this week um, so I asked Justin to go down, go downstairs in our cellar and dig out a box that I knew was there and I hadn't opened in almost 20 years but I knew what was in it and uh, this is one of the things this is the 1970 official yearbook from the New York Mets that I purchased in 1970 in Shea Stadium when I was actually I was in a uh, uh, in a box seat on the first baseline um, well, you know there to watch the New York Mets and this was the uh, yearbook that came out right after they had won the series so this reflects back in all their all the pictures and everything in it are all from the uh, world champion New York Mets there's Gil Hodges uh, and we'll go through a little bit of this, but um, I wanted to bring up childhood heroes and uh, um, as you're getting older you end up losing a lot of your childhood heroes and that's sad, but it, make, it really causes you to reflect and I just kind of wanted to do that with you if you don't mind. Okay, so we're going to go through this with you a little bit just to give you an idea. This is the cover, this is the crazy fans on the front. 1969 if they won. Um, I love old advertising. <laughs> so take a look at this. The one-of-a-kind Mets go with the one-of-a-kind car. Plymouth Fury. Look at that. <laughs> Good here. I showed you the Gil Hodges picture. Gil, I believe, passed away only. I think he passed away in 1972 not many years after this yearbook um, more vintage advertising again um, we get into some other some other old uh, pictures from the games April 8th Shea Stadium opener July 9th Seaver one hit over Cubs one hitter over the Cubs so more images from the 69 season. Alright. There's Don Clendenin. And they lived happily ever after. Look at some of these images. There's Tom Seaver right there. Yeah, these were. Here's Tom. These were my at Cranpool. 
Jerry Kuzman, Tommy Agee, Tom Saver. Don Clendenin. My heroes. Behind the scenes at Shea. Let's get family. Shows uh, these people with family. There's the Grodys. Here's Jerry Grody and his family. Tell them shooting this around noon. You get the noon whistle. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Another ad. 69 and 70 were special in other ways too. I was a young boy, eight years old in uh, 1969, and uh, I was also getting involved in uh, organized baseball in Little League. And the year after the Mets won the World Series, that following spring, uh, my Little League team, we also won. We won our series. And this is the this is the uh, picture of my little league team. We were the Cubs, the high tone Cubs. It was the high tone cleaners uh, actually uh, uh, sponsored us, and that's me right here. I played second base and center field for the high tone Cubs, and I have other things here too. My hat. I still have it. This is my hat from that uh, that year. My championship team saved it all these years. And the trophy. Plain Edge Youth Leagues Farm League Champs 1970. And my connection with the Mets continues with that because that year we had a banquet and at that banquet uh, one of the championship Mets came and spoke to us and was none other than Tug McGraw which is actually uh, for those of you not old enough to know um, Tim McGraw's father Tim wasn't even uh, born yet not even close to it yet at that time but Tug spoke with us I still have his autograph and uh, of course he was one of the relief pitchers for the uh, 69 World Mets and one of the pitchers along with Tom Seaver so Tug is gone now uh, Tom Seaver is now gone other uh, uh, my heroes from the Mets like Tommy Agee is gone Don Clendenin is gone along with a number of others there are still some still around Jerry Grody was a big big hero of mine, and he's still around. I believe Cleon Jones is still around as well. So, um, it's, it's sad seeing our uh, heroes leave us. I uh, understand Tom uh, had uh, dementia. Uh, that's something that's close with me. My father had dementia, and Lynn's mother is struggling with dementia right now. Um, I understand maybe there was a little, uh, they also died with some complications of COVID-19 as well. But here's Tom in, uh, in the yearbook. And there's a nice color picture of Tom right here as well. But, uh, well, I used to, you know, because I was just getting into playing baseball, we used to pretend we were certain players, and uh, uh, if I was on the mound, I was Tom Seaver. If I was behind the plate, I was Jerry Grody. And those are probably my two favorite uh, players to pretend uh, who I was. So, um, going through this uh, yearbook really brings back a lot of memories. Originally, uh, the video this week was going to be mostly on 
the work we were going to do in the kitchen. Um, however, uh, you know, Tom Seaver's passing, I decided to change things up a little bit. But I do want to show you what we've been doing, and Lynn is helping. So uh, let's go to Lynn right now as she helps with uh, treating the butcher block countertop. Okay. Why and do I? Take it. Take your hand. Take. Yeah. Rub that in there, Lenny. Rub your season in there. Okay. This is a. This stuff is called butcher block oil and finish. It's uh, safe for food contact. Look at it. It's how for shiny. yeah, wood cutting boards, butcher blocks, salad bowls, and more. So we're using this on this countertop, which is a butcher block countertop, right? Yeah. Now this is the second coat. So if this is our second coat we're putting on here right now, right? And we're going to show everybody the finished you know what we've done but we're not going to show it this time well the next video will show people hopefully it'll be almost done right here once you go and you start start rubbing that in a little bit more it should be almost done and we'll show you the almost finished product because we're also going to go ahead and we're going to start painting the whole kitchen and doing a lot of different things there right you want a little bit more Could I do a little bit more we all play a part in this, don't we, Lynn? Right? So you got to work on it too. So we could all say we all helped. Is good? Doing good? Doing good. So Tom Seaver, may you rest in peace. And we'll see you next time on The Lynn Life.